the next one is the first of the two elegant, more elegant up dewy styles that you guys are going to see. Um, so for this next one, we're going to keep the bangs again. Um, and what I'm going to do is put in a large French braid, um, gathering all the hair. Once you've got the whole thing in a large French braid, what you want to do is hold the hair that's on the side that the bang is at, and then what you want to do is bring the French braid forward towards your ear, sort of, so start covering, um, start with your ear covered, and then what you want to do is pull back and stop sort of towards the middle of your of your head. So once you've got the tip, you want to twist. And all we're going to do is clip it down. And you can use, um, I'm using a claw clip, but you can use any type of clip. And that's pretty much it. And if you still have hair sticking out, which tends to happen when you bring all these smaller braids into a larger French braid. Um, this one actually came out perfect, but I usually have hair sticking out. All you have to do is just take them and tuck them in between the, the smaller braids and they should be able to hold. And if you would rather want a more secure style, then you can take bobby pins and pin them into the larger braid. But I think this is one of the easiest and coolest and most elegant styles you can do in a matter of um, two minutes. And if the style gets boring, which it does if you wear it all the time, guess what you can do? You can add another scarf. Um, so I'm gonna be using another square shaped scarf and what I'm gonna do is fold it in half to make a triangle, and then fold it again, and then fold this one again. side that doesn't show where the folds are. And that's it. So for the last elegant look, it takes a little bit of time, it's a little bit more complicated, but it depends on how much hair you have. The more hair you have, the harder it's going to be to put together. The less hair you have, the easier. Um, but what we're going to do is start with a ponytail. Um, that's been pulled to one side, so a side ponytail. Okay. And then what you want to do is take that, um, that bunch and start twisting towards your body, not to the outside, but towards your body. And as you twist forward, you want to bring it up and twist towards your, your head. So keep twisting as you bring it up. Don't worry about loose ends, we'll take care of those later. And once you get close to the end, take a longer piece and twist that around what you have so far. Twisting. And take another long piece and twist that around. And take another long piece and twist again. And as you keep twisting, twist toward the center of that large twist. And once you get to the center, you want to tuck in those loose ends into the center. A few bobby pins and pin that center down.
continue pinning where you feel it's still loose. So once you've got the center down, so I, that center is completely down, so I can move on to the outsides um, of that larger twist. Okay, so I feel like mine's secure enough, and I can move on to tucking in any loose pieces. So this gives you a completely different look. It's got this spirally uh, look and it's up in a bun to the side, pretty elegant. But you can add more, uh, more stuff to this. You can add a head scarf if you need to. Um, or what I like to do is funk it up a little bit and add, uh, and add some large decoration, especially to, to kind of accentuate the curl. Uh, so what I like to add is something large and flowery on this side. This, what I have is this little golden looking um, little bow. And it, it comes in a clip form. There are ones that come in like a bobby pin form. And you can find all types of decor uh, type bobby pin style things and you know, beauty supply stores or CVS or Walgreens. And I'm going to be using this one and I'm just going to clip it to the side. It looks pretty cute, doesn't it? <laughs> and if you want to be more subtle with um, with stylizing the braid, you can add something like this. So what I've done here is put a few pearls and a few flower-shaped uh, beads onto a string. And what you can do is tie it around the bun. the whole string with pearls, um, but this is just an example of what you can do with a piece of string and a few beads um, that you happen to have lying around. And yes, I know the hair tie is distracting, but the reason I used a light colored hair tie instead of a black hair tie is just to show you guys um, what the process is, um, just to show you guys that it, we actually have to do a ponytail first before you make this um, twist. I haven't tried doing it without a ponytail. It's kind of hard to do without a ponytail because the hair just comes apart in the process as you twist. But you can definitely go ahead and use a black hair tie instead of one that's bright and colorful and one you can see from afar. The whole point is to make this hair, make the style look look easy and, and make it look seamless and not you know, look like you've got a whole bunch of stuff attached to your hair. But this is just to give you guys ideas on what the possibilities are with, with braided hair. But yeah, those are um, pretty much the possibilities when it comes to protective styling in the winter, and specifically with um, uh, the braids that have uh, been done with extensions. Please let me know if you have any questions about the uh, products I use to maintain uh, the braids in the fall and winter, or other styles that I've tried. And, how to go about making this satin bonnet slash winter hat. Um, if you have any questions about that, please comment down below. I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and please share it with anyone that you think might be able to use some of the tips and styles shown in this video. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.